Proverbs chapter 23. When thou sittest to earth with a ruler, consider diligently what is before thee, and put an arm to thy throat. If thou be man given to appetite, be not desi desirous of his dainties, for they are deceitful meat. Labor not to be rich, cease from thine own wisdom. Will thou set thine eyes upon that which is not? For riches certainly make themselves wings. They fly as an eagle toward heaven. Eat thou not the bread of him that hath an evil eye, neither desire those who dainty meats. For as he thinketh in his heart, so is he and eat and drink, saith he to thee, but his heart is not with thee. The normal of which has, has eaten shall through vomit up and lose thy sweet words. Speak not in the ears of, the, of a fool, for he will despite the wisdom of thy words. Remove not the old landmark, and enter not into the fields of the fatherless. For the Redeemer is mighty, he shall plead their cause with thee. Apply thine heart unto the instruction, and thine ears to the words of knowledge. Withhold not correction from the child, for it thou beatest him with the rod, he shall not die. Thou shalt beat him with the rod, and, and shalt deliver his soul from hell. My son, if thine heart be wise, my heart shall rejoice even mine. Yet my reign shall rejoice when thy lips speak right things. Let not thine heart every envy sinners, but be thou in the fear of the Lord all the day long. For surely there is an end, and thine expectation shall not be cut off. Hear thou, my son, and be wise, and guide thine heart in the way. Be not among the wine biblers, among righteous ears of flesh. For the drunkard and the gluten shall come to poverty, and drowsiness shall clothe a man with rags. Hearken unto my father, that begat thee, and despite not thy mother, when she is old, by the truth, and sell it not, also wisdom and instruction and understanding. The father of the righteous shall greatly rejoice, and he that begot the wise child shall have joy of him. Thy father and thy mother be glad, and she and the bear thy shall rejoice. My son, give me thine heart. And let thine eyes observe my ways, for a whore is a, a deep pit ditch, and a strange woman is a narrow pit. She also lieth in wait for you as prey, and increaseth the transgressors among men, who hath woe, who hath sorrow, who hath contentious, who hath babbling, who hath wounds without cause, who hath redness of eyes, that the tarry long at the wine, that they go seek the mixed wine. Look into now look now thou upon when it is red, when it giveth in its color to the cup, when it moveth itself aright, at last it biteth like a serpent, and sitting like a adder. Thine eyes shall behold strange women, and thine heart shall utter perverse things. Yet thou shalt be as he that lieth down in the midst of the sea, or as he that lieth upon the top of a mast. They haven't stricken me, shall thou say. And I was not sick, they have beaten me, and I felt it not. When shall I awake? I will seek it yet again. That is Proverbs 23, that is the Proverbs of the day. Amen.